I only have one message to give you. I don't care what you think of me. I don't care what you call me. I do care what you do with this information because it is important to our survival as a species. Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Well, he... Ask yourselves, what are you doing in this time of great challenge? What are you doing to unlock mine? Maybe you want me to talk about you on air. No one will go to the New York Times or care that it's even admitted that the government's hatching most of the terror plots. Or people will say, what are you doing? Endorsing radical Islam, saying it doesn't exist? I didn't say that. I said our criminal government is arming them, aiding and abetting them, protecting them to attack and kill us so they can take our freedoms. That's what I said. You traitors claiming I'm a Ruski agent, say it to my face and I'll break your nose. I'm sick of it. I will stomp your head in the ground, you traitorous maggots. While we go under Obamacare, North American Union, conquered by European banks, announcing our kids don't belong to us, total bondage, total surveillance, and you want to shoot your mouth off about me being a Ruski agent, I will stomp your head in the ground. And all you ISIS people threatening us, hey, we're not a French newspaper, okay? We got people that have taken your asses out in this building right now. We're armed to the teeth, and we're not scared. You got that, you sons of bitches? This is Texas. You want to threaten me, you can go straight to hell. You understand that? Never water yourself down just because someone can't handle you at 100 proof. It's the Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on for your mind. They're being murdered all over the Middle East, and Obama knows how dumb his politically correct audience is. And he goes... We can't just bring Christians in. That's discriminatory. No, we know. You won't let Christians get out. <sighs> it is so sick. And it shows how much they hate us bitter clingers. They don't care if you're black. They don't care if you're Asian, Hispanic, Arabic, whatever. You're a Christian. This global government hates your guts. And Christians are persecuted. And our leaders, our Christian leaders, are controlled and won't stand up for us. We're under attack, people, and Christians should come together. And even if you don't believe in Christianity, but you believe in Western culture and freedom, you shouldn't like your culture, what you came from, being under attack and being replaced with a bunch of crazy, radical, jihad crap. And people know I was against the Middle Eastern wars. I don't dislike Muslims or Arabs or any of it. But I'm not going to bend over with a bunch of radical ones telling me that my daughters belong to them and are going to wear hoods on their heads over my dead body. We're taking this country back, period. We're done. I don't care if it's globalists, radical Muslims, Satanists, whatever, whoever you are, get out of my way. 1776 is coming again, and you're not going to stop the new enlightenment, the new renaissance. Get out of the way, all of you, you globalists that want to suppress technology, radical Islamists that want to suppress culture. It's over. We're the real liberals. America was exceptional, and we're bringing it back. America is starting to wake up to the fact that Barack Obama is becoming a dictator. You know about him launching wars in Libya, Syria, and other areas. And when Congress comes to him and says, you've got to get authorization from us under the law, under the Constitution, he says, no, I don't, because I have the UN and NATO. That is treason. Obama has been having the ATF put in new anti-gun regulations outside of law. And now the ATF's talking about banning most shotguns with a new regulation. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to stand up to Barack Obama and let him know and let the prostitute, accomplice, collaborator media know that America is waking up and will not put up with this type of executive abuse. I know some people want me to bypass Congress and change the laws on my own. Believe me, the idea of, of doing things on my own is very tempting. Now he's saying he can do this if he wants to. 
This is treason. We did this a few years ago with the Joker contest, Obama as a Joker, and the media took our bait. They said, how dare you show our gracious Fuhrer uh, as a Joker? This should be illegal. It is a poster showing the president made up like the Joker, and as West News Amanda Ober reports, whoever is responsible may face criminal charges. That you shouldn't be able to criticize Obama. It was in hundreds of newspapers, more than 20, 30, 40, 50, I lost count, TV stations from Japan to Ireland to the United States. This is gonna be even bigger because these authoritarian pigs of the new world order are gonna try to say it's wrong to show Obama as a dictator. Our forebearers in the 10 years leading up to the revolution in 1776 did the same thing. They decried King George III. They decried the corrupt system and were basically politically demonized for it. We have to identify that Obama is becoming a dictator because the powers that the executive is grabbing will just be passed on to the next president unless we decry them now. The traitorous Congress has been told they're slaves of the executive and have gone along with it. So it's important to let that scum know that we're aware of them. Follow the link below me to the contest rules. It's very, very easy. This country is in deep trouble and we the people will call out this criminal who is saying he'll arrest us under the NDAA, he'll kill us, he'll shut down the internet, he'll hijack our smartphones and take it over with his propaganda messages, that he'll launch wars without congressional approval, that he'll do whatever he wants. Enough is enough. Let the maggot Barack Obama and all of his criminal mafia that work for him, that staged Fast and Furious and so many other crimes know that you're awake to him.